Hi, and today I'm at Newbury Ridge Railway Station. There's a train due shortly, and the train's going to Lakeside, and I'm going to Lakeside. So you might think I might just hop on the train, but actually I'm not going to. I'm going to walk from here to Lakeside Station along a new footpath. Um, footpath was open last year and it's probably the newest footpath in the Lake District although actually there are others being created even as we speak. Um, it's a mile and a half, uh, very pleasant um, and it's a, a route that you weren't able to walk until last year so I thought I'd give it a go see what it's like and then so why didn't you come with me? Actually on second thoughts I'm going to wait until the train goes past first. It's very pleasant here. I think I'll just spend a bit of time here and just relax and enjoy the bluebells in the woods and um, nice and peace and quiet. They've got river behind me. It's lovely. From Newbury Bridge Station, where there is very limited parking, we're going to walk to the Swan Hotel. Then, simply follow the road in front of the hotel to the start of the footpath. After crossing a bridge, it runs through a large field, with the railway and river to the right, before bearing right to run beside the railway for the last quarter of a mile. The path ends at the car park for the Lakeside Pier and other attractions. Simply walk through the car park to enjoy the pier, where there's a cafe, visit the aquarium of the lakes, or catch a train back to Newby Bridge. Of course, you could do the walk from Lakeside, having come down on the boat from Bowness or Rambleside, walk to the Newby Bridge, and then use the hotel as a pit stop. Or you could just make it part of your day out on the train. The path is designated for walkers, horse riders and cyclists, although horse riders have to dismount before crossing the bridge. Horse riders are also not allowed on the last section of the walk because it ends in the car park. The railway opened in 1869. It ran from Olverston to the foot of the lake and was predominantly aimed at tourists, although it also carried some goods. It was closed in 1965. 
The Preserved Railway opened in 1973. So it's been going 51 years, um, which is pretty impressive. Uh, carries a lot of passengers and also obviously it, it uh, links with the Windermere Lake cruises. But this walk, um, before if you wanted to get from Newburybridge to Lakeside you either took the train or you had to walk either over the fell or along the side of the road. That road's dangerous to walk on I would suggest. Um, so this is a really really big improvement and it's part of a link that the, the intention is to be enable you to walk all the way from safely and mostly off-road, not entirely off-road, but mostly off-road, all the way from Newbury Bridge, all the way up to Bonus Pier and beyond to be able to get to Ray Castle, because obviously there's a link between Bonus Pier and Ray Castle. So that's that's pretty impressive. You know, when I was younger, I would never have set foot on a footpath like this. I always wanted to get on the high fells, but I'm absolutely loving it. You've got the trains, the river, the lake views, and just the feeling of freedom that you get from being outdoors. It's wonderful. Seeing the train reminds me of the story of Henry Schneider, the Victorian industrialist who lived at the Bellsfield in Bowness. He was a prominent figure in Barrow. Each morning he'd stroll through his extensive gardens down to his own private steam yacht, preceded by his butler, who carried his breakfast on a silver tray. He'd then have breakfast as he steamed majestically down the lake, before boarding his own private coach to take the train to Barrow. I suppose if you really do have to commute every day, then that's the way to do it. Here we are, Lakeside. We come out in what is now the car park, but a hundred years ago this was a very busy goods yard. Coal was the railway's most common cargo, but food and other goods also came in here. The main goods leaving the station were bobbins from the nearby Stock Park bobbin mill. In fact, the mill outlasted the railway. It didn't close until 1971. It's now a working museum. Rather like the railway, in fact. Right, that's enough of steam trains for the moment. Time to explore. The quayside area is now part of the car park, but a hundred years ago, goods transfer from rail to lake was the order of the day. The railway company actually had its own cargo boat, as well as sidings on the quayside. The main passenger terminal is much the same as it was a hundred years ago, when steamboats connected with the trains. The old railway goods shed, though, is long gone, with this modern building housing the aquarium standing in its place. There we are. I've been so busy mooching around, I've missed the last boat. Never mind, I suppose I'll just have to walk back to Anuba Bridge and get the bus. Do you know, this walk has, just for an hour or two, transported me back to a bygone age. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. 
I hope you found it enjoyable. If you have, well, you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy wandering and stay safe.